What is Metasploit? An introduction, this time on Metasploit Minute. This Metasploit Minute is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hakshop.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. In this minute, we are breaking down what is Metasploit? Essentially, that's all it is. Like, what, like, what are we, what are we talking about? And really, what Metasploit is 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 a exploitation framework. And what I mean by exploitation framework is that it's a a group of tools and, and utilities put together to make exploit development, sys administration, and uh, and poning stuff easier. Um, so, in 2003, HD Moore. Um, decided that the current state of exploit dev and it was really sucky. I mean, he, he, you have to go out on stuff, something like security focus or, or, or full disclosure and pull down an exploit someone created and trust that all of their code doesn't rm-rf. Um, you compile it and, and just hope that it works. And a lot of the times it was designed directly for a specific ver version or or specific language of an operating system, and, and you'd have to do your own tweaks and, and stuff like that. Well, what Metasploit did at that time, and it was in Perl, yes, we all hate Perl, um, was it made all of the generic pieces like shell code and, and uh, TCP connections, uh, and it removed all of that into a framework-like um, instance where you could use all of that and just concentrate solely on that exploit. Now, let's define some terms before we get any further. What is an exploit? Well, an exploit is, is when you take a vulnerability, and we'll define vulnerability in a second, take a vulnerability and you chain, take that vulnerability into code execution or, or a lot of other things that could be exploits. But you're, what you're doing is exploiting that vulnerability. You are taking advantage of that vulnerability. So what is a vulnerability? Vulnerability is any chance that you can you do something on a computer or a system um, that you're not supposed to or wasn't intended. So if you go to a website and you can increment a, uh, an ID number for your user ID from 5,000 to 1 and become an admin, that's a vulnerability. And you are exploiting that vulnerability by changing your ID. So what can Metasploit do? And I just kind of went over some of what Metasploit do, but can do, but let me give you a few examples. So at home, um, I get calls from my mom all the time on fixing her computer. So what I would do is use something called Meterpreter, and we'll talk about Meterpreter in later editions, um, is I would give her a binary or an executable that would call back to my Metasploit instance, and it would give me a, a ton of different things that I could do with that. One of the funniest ones is Webcam Snap. Well, Webcam Snap command allowed me to take a picture of, of my mom while I was uh, fixing her printer supposedly and I sent her that picture and from then on she never clicked links and I never had fire virus problems so that's one of the fun ways that you can do system administration with it but uh, Metasploit is a lot more than just Meterpreter um, there are tools like S uh, PS exec uh, and System internals has a PS exec version um, and it does much of the same thing but uh, for instance there was one time where a steam game I had going was uh, froze my entire system. I couldn't do anything. So what I did was I PS exec, and I'll, we'll explain that in other editions if you don't know what that is, PS exec to the system from another system that I had and killed the process for Steam. Now, unfrozen system. Now I can actually operate it without having to restart. So that's kind of some of the things that you can use Metasploit for Sys Administration for, and we'll get a lot more into the exploit development and exploitation stuff um, later. So where do, I, where do I get Metasploit? Well, I get Metasploit, the development version, from GitHub. And GitHub is where they do all their development. But you can get it, and where we're going to be going through the installers versions for it, um, from metasploit.com or rapid7.com. So let me show you what that means. So the pro version, express version, community version, framework. You can get all of these versions uh, off of metasploit.com and rapid7.com. Um, and the differences here are, are on the versions is, let's start with framework on the right-hand side. Framework is just the Metasploit framework. It has um, 
only the stuff that is open source, free, BSD licensed, so you can take and modify however you want. The community edition is, is, is a still free version of Metasploit, but it has a GUI and, and does a lot, of, uh, a lot of automation on top of what you already have with, MS, with Metasploit framework. Then we get into the paid versions, which is Express and Pro. Express adds more automation to it. It allows you to do some password automatic password auditing, some smart, quote unquote, smart exploitation, um, and some reporting stuff. When you get into the Pro version, you get some awesome new features like the VPN pivot, where you're doing an in-memory only uh, VPN inside of an exploited system, which is amazing. You get some web app testing stuff and some phishing. So that's it for the, the versions that we have going, and, and um, that's it for what Metasploit Minute is today. So um, upcoming topics that we'll be talking about is the installers, how to um, get it installed in different versions, inst including how to just get it started in Kali, um, and that's it. Thank you for watching. So what do you think? Hit me up at msf at hack5.org, and stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. Until then, I'm Ubix. I'll be here hacking till the cows come home.